China's lithography machine, can it really make high-end chips? Beyond 65 nanometers resolution, how many choke point problems remain unsolved? Can you believe it? China's lithography machine, which was declared by the West to be unable to build high-end models within a decade, achieved small batch delivery by the end of 2025. Even the Netherlands ASML had to urgently lower the price of its DUV lithography machines for China. Just three years ago, we had to sign a never to be used for military purposes agreement just to purchase a mid range ASML machine. Today, we can etch a 65 nanometers chip with our own equipment, a reversal that is truly mind boggling. The lithography machine is not as mysterious as it sounds. You can imagine it as a nanometer scale printer. The circuits on a chip are like text on a newspaper. A 193 nanometers wavelength ARF lithography machine is equivalent to writing with an extremely fine pen tip, capable of etching circuits down to 65 nanometers in size, like engraving an entire novel on a fingernail. The core of this achievement lies in our breakthrough in immersion technology, allowing the photoresist to be exposed in water, essentially adding a magnifying glass to the pen tip. Even more shocking, while the ARF lithography machine entered the promotion catalog, our KRF lithography machine was quietly delivered to factories. Canon of Japan sold only 51 of its equivalent devices in the first half of 2025, while our small batch delivery directly broke the US-Japan-Netherlands monopoly in the mid-range market. This is more than just a single device breakthrough, it's a collective explosion of the entire domestic supply chain. However, beneath the impressive data, the hidden problems are more complex than you imagine. Let's dive in. Is the domestic lithography machine considered high-end? Where does the gap lie compared to European and American giants? And what industrial secrets are hidden within the unsolved, choke point, technologies? The timing of September 2024 itself was tense, just half a year after the US upgraded its export controls on semiconductor equipment. The global chip industry was watching China's technological breakthrough. When the news of the domestic ARF lithography machine selected for the major technical equipment promotion catalog popped up on the MITS website, ASML's stock price immediately dropped sharply during the European trading session, falling exactly three points in a single day, evaporating over 12 billion euros in market value. This Dutch giant consistently maintains a gross profit margin of over 20% with stock fluctuations rarely exceeding 1%. This abnormal reaction is enough to illustrate the weight of China's breakthrough. This device, equipped with a 193 nanometers wavelength light source and a resolution stable within 65 nanometers, precisely targeted the rigid pain point of the Western supply chain. ASML's EUV machine for 7 nanometers and below processes costs up to $400 million per unit requires a specialized transport aircraft for shipping, and needs a maintenance team of over 20 people. Our ARF model costs less than one-fifth of that, doesn't rely on rare gases, requires only a three-person daily maintenance team, and can perfectly cover over 70% of the market demand, including automotive MCU chips, industrial control PLC chips, and IoT sensors. These sectors are precisely the global chip consumptions. Foundation. What makes European companies even more restless is the Q3 2025 financial report, which showed European semiconductor giant ST Microelectronics revenue down 2% year-on-year. While seemingly small, it harbors a crisis. Its core automotive semiconductor business revenue declined 5% quarter-on-quarter. The financial notes vaguely mentioned. Increased price competition from mature processed chips from Asia. Industry data already provides the answer. The concurrent quotation for Chinese 65 nanometers automotive chips was a full 30% lower than ST Microelectronics equivalent product. Even the supply chains of Germany's Volkswagen and France's Renault have started small batch testing of domestic chips. This isn't a simple price war. It's a dimensional reduction attack on the technological roadmap. ASML's EUV lithography machine is like a precision luxury item. Fewer than 100 units can be produced globally in a year, and the latest 2025 high-end AEUV sold only 5 units. Our ARF lithography machine follows a pragmatism, route, 
satisfying the vast majority of civilian and industrial needs. It's like the West is obsessed with building supercars, while we have made the family car reliable, durable, and affordable. This difference stems from China's precise judgment of what constitutes real demand. After all, 95% of the world's chips do not need the extreme precision of EUV. The domestic lithography machine breakthrough is essentially breaking the myth of technology worship. The West always claims, you can't make high-end chips without EUV, forgetting that the industrial sector requires equipment that is sufficient, cheap, and stable. ST Microelectronics revenue decline proves that in essential markets like automotive chips, the cost effectiveness of the 65 nanometers process far outweighs 7 nanometers. Our breakthrough is not to compete with ASML on who is more advanced, but to build our own technological air raid shelter. This pragmatic approach is the key to industrial rise. The voices mocking it as not high end enough are merely the anxieties of vested interests. But don't be too quick to celebrate. Compared to the US led technology alliance, our shortcomings are hidden in the details. Optical lenses. ASML's EUV machine has over 100,000 components. The most critical optical lenses come from Germany's Zeiss. The surface precision error of this mirror is no more than 30 cents backslash text and M dollar, equivalent to leveling the Earth's surface so that the undulations do not exceed one meter. Domestic mirrors currently can only achieve one dollar backslash text and M dollar precision. This results in our lithography machine having a yield rate 15 percentage points lower than ASML's during continuous operation. Don't underestimate this 15%. The cost difference for a single wafer can be over 10,000 RMB. Light source system. The EUV light source from US company Symer can stably maintain a power output of over $250 backslash text W dollar. While the power of the domestic ARF light source is sufficient for the 65 nanometers process, it shows fluctuations after working continuously for over 8 hours. The U.S. escalated sanctions in 2025, even preventing remote upgrades of ASML's already sold equipment, thereby seizing the lifeline of light source calibration. In contrast, Intel was already using the high NA EUV in 2025, achieving $8 backslash text and M dollar resolution in a single exposure. This gap cannot be easily compensated for by multiple exposure, technology, commentary. Acknowledging the gap is not self-abasement. It's about seeing the direction clearly. The West spent three decades building the Zeiss Lens plus Symer Light Source plus ASML Assembly Golden Triangle, and we cannot achieve it overnight. But the encouraging thing is that we didn't follow the old path of better to buy than to build. Instead, we are comprehensively deploying from lenses and light sources to photoresist. The $1 backslash text and M dollar precision gap is both a technical bottleneck and a target for dedicated attack. U.S. sanctions, though seemingly harsh, have forced us to establish a full-chain R&D system. What we lack now is not the technical direction, but time and patience, as Zeiss's lens technology also took 50 years to achieve 30 cents backslash text and M dollar precision. Looking at the lesson of Europe, we can better understand the importance of our current persistence. The EU launched the CHIPS Act in 2022, planning to invest 43 billion euros in factory construction. Yet, by 2025, Europe's share of global chip production fell from 12% to 9%. The core problem is over-reliance on external technology. 80% of the chips used by German automakers come from Asia, and French industrial controllers rely on US supply. When China began self-production, European companies had neither cost advantage nor technological barrier, leaving them trapped in a vicious cycle of fewer orders reduced R&D less competitiveness. In contrast, the US, while seemingly holding the core technology, is being damaged by its own sanctions. In 2025, US semiconductor equipment exports to China were halved, directly leading to a 30% reduction in R&D funding. Keep in mind that 49% of ASML's 2024 revenue came from China. After the restrictions took effect in 2025, its revenue was directly cut in half. The stock price plummeted from 1,100 euros to over 700 euros, 
and its market value evaporated by nearly 40%. They thought that a blockade could strangle China, but they forgot that the chip industry is an interconnected ecosystem. Without China's massive market, the R&D costs of Western companies simply cannot be covered. This is why ASML is covertly pushing refurbished DEV machines to Chinese customers, effectively watering down the sanctions. The global chip industry is a highly interdependent whole. The West's attempt to achieve technological decoupling is essentially an act of suicide that violates economic laws. The decline of Europe and the revenue drops of U.S. companies both prove that no single country can monopolize all technology. China's advantage lies in possessing the world's largest chip market and an R&D system capable of concentrating resources on major tasks. We are building lithography machines not to choke others, but to ensure we are not choked ourselves. This attitude of not stirring up trouble but absolutely not fearing it is the rationality most needed for global technological development. After all, only healthy competition can make technological progress benefit everyone. Let's address the highly sensationalized list of choke point problems, many of which we have already broken through. Photoresist. Japan's JSR once monopolized 70% of the global market. Now, the compatibility of domestic photoresist on KRF machines has reached 92% and the price is 40% lower than the Japanese product. Precision Guide Rails Previously supplied entirely by Switzerland's THK, the guide rails developed by Nanjing University of Science and Technology now have an error controlled within $2 backslash text nm dollar. The small batch delivery of the KRF lithography machine in 2025 is backed by the collective breakthrough of over 200 domestic suppliers. This ants gnawing on a bone. Spirit is more formidable than the breakthrough of a single piece of equipment. The most paradigm-shifting realization is that we have found a new track to bypass EUV. ASML's EUV is like using a cannon to sweat a mosquito with ridiculously high costs. By the end of 2024, SMIC was already capable of small batch production of $5 backslash text and M dollar class chips using domestic DUV combined with SAQP self-aligned quadruple patterning, multi-exposure technology. Although the cost is 40% higher than TSMC's, it can at least meet the needs of companies like Huawei. Huawei's new Kirin chip, by combining several $7 backslash text and M dollar chips, achieves performance comparable to TSMC's $5 backslash text and M dollar single die. This chiplet packaging Technology instantly shrinks the EUV advantage of the West. The so-called choke point has never been a technological dead end, but a fixed mindset. The West thought that locking up EUV would guarantee peace, but they forgot that the essence of technological innovation is if one road is blocked, find another path. The breakthroughs in domestic photoresist and the application of chiplet technology prove that we are not merely chasing, but changing lanes. This innovative thinking is more valuable than simple technological breakthrough. Now the world is discussing the post more era. As the cost-effectiveness of EUV becomes lower and lower, China's technical roadmap may actually become the future mainstream. After all, the ultimate goal of technological development is to solve problems, not to blindly worship a single technology. By now, you should understand that the $65 backslash text NM dollar breakthrough in the domestic lithography machine is either a deification nor a gimmick, but an important step on the steep climb of China's chip industry. We have achievements we can present and gaps we must face, but the most crucial thing is that we have embarked on the path of self-reliance and controllability. If you'd like to know how domestic photoresist broke the Japanese monopoly, or what changes chiplet technology can bring to phone chips, please click follow and we'll delve deeper next time. Share your thoughts in the comments. How long do you think it will take for domestic chips to comprehensively replace imports? Thank you for your reading and interaction. See you in the comments section.